Kitchens either. Yeah, I'm still currently working on my room slash lab, geek lab. Yeah, I don't want to try this on back on. I like this hat, okay? Might be a signature hat for me. But first right now, since I'm kind of at the halfway point, more uh, actual review might be out come, coming out next week, maybe. I got work to do because I got to pay things off, you know me. But at this moment in time, I want to talk about something real quick. Just recently, a new movie came out called Slender Man. And I automatically, my hype for that movie was never even existed. I remember when Slender Man first came out. I remember when it first came out. I played the game once and never really liked it. I did try some online, you know, clones from the app store when I had an app when I had an Apple phone. Don't have one no more. Though it's sitting in this little bucket over here. Oh well. And I never really got caught on the game. I never really looked into the lore. All I know is it was a creepypasta, which I means it was created on the internet. Though a lot of people believed that it was real. Hence why there was a little controversy when the movie first trailer came out. A lot of people speculated, why are they making this? Why are they making it? They do not remember the stabbing that happened. Well, they do, but you know, they announced this movie about years ago, back when I was in the seventh grade. I'm graduating now, and the movie just came out. I graduated in 2017, and the movie just came out. I'm like, is this movie really for anybody anymore right now? I mean, a lot of my friends back, a lot of my friends, when they heard about the about the movie was now going to come out on actual date, all of them were like, why? The game, the game was not really that popular. The sequels was okay at best, but, oh well. And it got me thinking, what's this game movie going to be rated? Is it going to be rated PG-13 or is it going to be rated R? And of course, it was rated PG-13. Oi. I want to talk about the horror movies. Myself, I'm a horror movie fan. I love horror movies. Most of my favorite horror movies came out back in the 70s and 80s. That was one of the like, two time periods of my favorite horror movies. Now, I'm not saying horror movies nowadays are bad. But, let's just say, if I have to get a good horror, horror show going on and I have to pay for a Netflix to watch it, and I enjoyed this more than actual movies. There's a problem here. Horror movies nowadays are not being made for actual horror movie fans. They're being made for cheap scares and cheap money. Now, this has been going on for many years. Because poor movie industries realize, wait... The adults are the adults that we were going for are now adults. They're not they have kids now. Let's try to scare their kids. So let's start making PG-13 horror movies. Uh Um I myself don't consider PG-13 horror movies actual horror movies. To me, they're more cheap scares, you know, just to make, just because, uh, we have this little date. We got this little date here that we got to, uh, we got to put a movie right here. Um, what, what horror movie, teenage horror movie do we got here? Ugh. We got this one movie called Slender Man. Let's put that right there. Yes, let's put that right there. We're going to make tons of money. It's the biggest flop in the box office when it came out. I mean, like, it released the same weekend Meg, the Meg came out. And that movie actually looks scary-ish. <sighs> and then... And I mean... PG-13 is not a horror movie rating. Rated R horror movies are amazing. I mean, come on. One of the biggest R-rated horror movies of all time... In my opinion, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And that was bloody as all get out. Now, I'm not a gore fan. I'm not. I, I mean, I mean, if it was in a horror movie, I'm like, okay. I mean, like, it's okay. But, you know. Now, now I did say PG-13 is, you know, not actual horror movie. But some horror movies... 
that, you know, some PG-13 movies are actually good. Like this one that came out that called The Bye-Bye Man. Now, it was, okay, the acting could be better. That's all I can say. To me, it was just ripping off Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. No one appeared. Good. <laughs> and then... And then I watched a PG-13 movie, PG horror movie called... I don't remember. That's how well I remember. And it was god-awful. I mean, if I want my scares to come back, I gotta see an actual horror movie. So, you know what movie I saw next? The Conjuring. And it terrified me. I couldn't sleep for days. And you know what? I loved it. And you know what? The next movie, next movie I watched after that was Conjuring 2. And it was once again terrifying. Now. Now as I say this. There has been some speculations that PG-13 horror movies are going to be the new horror. And I'm thinking, no, no, it's not. Now, I work at a movie theater, and when we had a movie, it everybody loved it. Everyone enjoyed it. Now, I got one. Now, I'm not going to. This, I got one comment by a uh, by a customer saying that, why is we read R? I'm like, well, the book is very gory and is really, really mature. I mean, like, come on now. I like, but. I want kids to see this. I mean, they can learn a lot from this. I mean, we gotta think of the children. Give me one second. I got no pen to paper, so I'm just gonna say it. F the kids. F the kids. Horror movies are not for kids. Now, I do say that. And when I was growing up, I watched horror movies. I loved them. But... But I only got my parents' permission to watch them. I had my parents watch them with me. And you know what? I love, still love them. Did it scar me for life? Well, I still live with my parents. So, hey, joy there. And I was like, wait, hold on. You actually want your kids to watch this. Well, let them watch it. Take your kids with you and watch it. Sit down with them and watch it now since it's on Blu-ray and DVD and on digital, ver and you can get it on all digital devices. And that's when my mind thinks, wait, hold on. I mean, I know, I know, I know that she, or he, I don't know, I don't remember, that they said that they want the kids watch it because this is good messages in this movie. Like, don't go, don't go stranger danger. I'm like, yeah. That's kind of the whole sense of the movie. It. Like, don't go in the woods with a creepy clown. Kind of strange to let say me or clowns were coming out of the woods. Huh. You know? So. It hit my mind. Was she right? Should they made us made it PG-13? Well, let's see how much money it made. It made stinking tons. And when the movie was announced that it was going to be rated R, people was happy. And and if they did make it PG-13, I still wouldn't watch it just because see how it was. And just to be honest, the it I read a little bit of the It. It deserved an R rating. I mean, come on now. Still trying to get my dad to watch it. Even though he did watch the original from the TV show. And I watched it myself and I laughed. <laughs> What? 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 I mean, come on now. And then, you know what happened next? You know, PG-13 is not horror movie rating. So, why do they make them? Well, one thing, the advertisements are are on mostly on YouTube and mostly on social media. So they're going after the teenagers so they can take their girlfriends and cut them all snuggled up against the play. Ah, ah, ah. I'm thinking, 
Five Nights at Freddy can make them more scary than this. Teenagers, stop! There is, you can watch actual horror movies on Netflix here. I mean, come on now. I got terrified by watching this. And I originally watched this on Netflix. And the only reason I got this is because the stuff. And. Oh wait. Leave horror movies to actual people who are going to watch them. The Conjuring has proved that enough. And the only reason why that has rated R movie. Or R rated is because of its scares. And they're actually scary. Why are these movies PG-13? Because I said the F-bomb at least once. <sighs> and sexual themes. Not actual scares. I mean... It's... It's a really weird industry. Horror movies right now are right now being mocked. And I hope movies like The Conjuring, it bring horror movies back to the gory days. It's gory days. Now, horror movies like Saw has helped a lot. Now, I've heard seen that their ratings are sometimes, every now and then, kind of PG-13-ish. But, that's a gore fest movie, so hey, our ratings everywhere. But... Movies like Bye Bye Man, Slender Man. I just got a weird feeling that a lot of movies nowadays are going to have the word man in them. So, hey. And movies like, like Dark Web. and Well, Dark Web was rated R. A lot of PG-13 horror movies are really ruining the horror movie scene. But luckily, a lot of people do speak out saying that we want more R-rated horror. R-rated horror is actual good. Now, and me saying this also means me saying that we must think of the children. Children must see horror movies so they can learn. I mean, do you really think teenagers are really gonna go see this? Teenage couples are really gonna see these movies actually get scared? I mean, I work at a movie theater and all the kids are gonna go see Slender Man this the last weekend was just a bunch of teenagers. And and them kids, the men, the and the teenage boys are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get it. These are these. This is the only reason why they're taking them to see this. Now, a bunch of other kids were going to see this just to see how the movie was. And they all came out. It was horrible. Horrible acting. So, and you know what the reactions to when Bye Bye Man came out? Once again, horrible acting. Not so much good horror. Horror movie, movie studios don't care about horror movies no more. They want these cash grab, grubbing, no good horror movies. They want them to come out as fast as possible so they can just get a good horror. And you know what? Right around the corner is October, and I will tell you now. One of my favorite horror icons is coming out this this October, and I'm so excited for it. And you know what? It's going to be rated. It's going to be rated R. Thank you. Halloween movies are ra R rated material. And if someone says that, this should have been PG-13 so the bunch of kids can see it. I'm going to slap that bitch and going to tell him or her this. Halloween is not PG-13. It is rated R. And you just going to have to deal with it. This is not a kid's movie. Originally, this actually, the very first Halloween was rated R just because of horror, gore, and really cool, cool scares. And that is a classic. A bona fide classic. And you know what? 
I watched it when I was 10 years old and five. I enjoyed it. Every year it's a tradition at my house to watch Halloween. And you know what? When we both, my mom and my dad and my sister and me saw, heard that they're bringing back Jamie Lee Curtis as Laura Strode and from and John Carpenter to make this movie. And you know what? It got a studio, Universal and a Blumhouse. Those people know how to make horror movies. And I'm thinking, yes! Yes! But then, it hit my mind. Oh no, once again, they're gonna dumb it down just so little teeny bopper kids can go see their dumb horror movies so they can be, so they can get it that next day just so the girls don't be scared no more. I'm thinking, oh no, oh. But then I heard it's gonna be rated R. I was like, thank you. So, back to me telling the person. I'm going to tell this person, Halloween is an R-rated movie series. I don't care about the kids. I want to see Michael Myers rip someone's head off and use it as a batty ram. I want to see him slash the girl's throat just so I can be like, yes. I want to see. I want to see him bloody up someone. I want to see how. I want to see him actually scare me. I want him to actually scare me to death. I want to see blood. I want to actually see boobs. I want to see Laurie Stroh with a shotgun shooting at him and him get right back up. Okay? Yeah. I want to see that. So, I'm glad it's going to be rated R. I'm glad that I'm going to see Michael Myers back on the big screen. And you know what? I don't care what people say about it being rated R. Because you know what? This is my stand on PG-13 horror movies. They're not actually horror movies. They are cheap scares. Cheap scares. Okay, now if a horror movie comes out that's PG-13, you know what, I might just see it, just see how they do. But same as always, the movie series is going to have bad acting, going to have not so scary moments just for the money. And you know what, three directors right now, James Wan and people who are directing the Conjuring movie series, and the Blumhouse, I am so thankful for y'all actually trying to make good scares. Thank you. Me, myself, and a lot of others in the horror fans are thankful that y'all are actually trying to make good horror movies. Now, Right now, folks, still working at the lab, getting it good and going. More videos are coming out soon. I just want to do this just real quick so I can get it off my chest. Then also just see, tell y'all that I am still here. <laughs> also, speaking of horror, this October, I am going to bring back Big Blue Horror Fest. What is that? Well, I'm going to review horror movies, talk about horror movies, and you know what? I'm going to be reviewing almost every single Halloween movie that I know. Just because the big, because Big Mike is coming back. And it's going to be glorious. Glorious. Yeah. And glory. Oh yeah. So. I'm the Big Blue. And. Here at the. New Improved Geek Lab. It's coming back. 
When? I don't know. Got to get back to this. And you know what? Like I said, PG-13 horrors are not actual horrors. See y'all next time. Hello. Um, why are you still here? Oh, you might be uh, waiting for me to tell you to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to be notified about when my next video up. Eh, I'm not going to do that now. But well, I am going to tell you this. Check out my, some of my other videos. They're good. And also, um, we'll grab my other ones. Just hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. Like most of my other videos and stuff, so. Yeah. Also, um, support Cough and Comics. They uh, have some really good stuff. I'm not going to show you what I'm. I'm not showing you the cover of this uh, Lady Death right now because it's uh, uh, kind of graphic and stuff, so. Yeah, go to coffeecomics.com, buy some Lady Death stuff if you want. Um, check my reviews of that stuff, because, just to be honest, it's really good. So, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, see y'all later. Bye.